If you're struggling to attract people, it might be because you're listening to all that useless advice like be yourself or some bullshit. Because it's really not that simple. But don't worry, you came to the right place. Let me tell you how to literally pull anyone you want. Firstly, in order to understand my methodology, we have to touch on the concept of space-time in Einstein's theory of general relativity. Here's how it works. When a heavy object is placed on it, the fabric of space-time bends, creating a dip. Smaller objects move towards the heavy object because they follow the curve of the fabric. This bending of space is what we experience as gravity, aka the natural ability to attract. The more massive the object, the deeper the curve, and the stronger the gravitational pull. So the big question of today is, how much mass do you need in order to create your own gravitational field that's strong enough to attract any woman? Lucky for us, my buddy Sir Isaac Newton has provided us a formula to answer this exact question. The gravitational force between two masses is given by Newton's law of gravitation. F equals G times mass 1, mass 2, over radius squared. Okay, so our desired mass is represented by M1, so let's rearrange the equation. Now we have to find the values of each variable on the right side of the equation, so bear with me. Now g is the gravitational constant that some nerds already figured out, so we don't have to worry about that. So next is m2. m2 is the mass of the other object that we want to attract. And for the sake of science, I'm going to have to be a misogynist and say that the woman is the object in this case. The average mass of a woman is 62 kg, so we'll just go with that. Now the variable r is the distance between the two centers of the masses, so I'm just going to arbitrarily assume a distance of 5 meters, which is around the length of a room. Now the only tricky part is the f variable, which is the force required to move a human. Now we can find f by using Newton's second law, which is f equals ma. Force equals mass times acceleration. So what is the acceleration in this case? Well, I don't want to kill anyone, so let's just set a specific speed for them to gravitate towards us, like 1.4 meters per second, which is around walking speed. If we want to find the acceleration, it's just, um, you just pretend it's over one second. Okay, just to simplify things. So now we could just square this, square the S over here, and then plug that in to F equals MA. Now running the calculations, we just have F equals mass 62 kg times 1.4 meters per second squared, which gives us the final result of 86.8 newtons. Okay, now we have all the variables out and ready to calculate. But wait, one more thing. Women love playing hard to get. Therefore, we need to account for the friction of their shoes against the ground. So let's assume you're smart and you choose a good location where your victims don't have anything to hold on to. The equation for friction is given by force of friction equals the friction coefficient times the normal force, which this is just m2 times gravity. Friction coefficient is a bit of a wild card, so I'm just going to set it as 0.4. We know m2 and g already. This is just 62 kg, and then gravity is just 9.8. And when we pump that into a calculator, you get 243.04 newtons. Okay, so we just found the force required to move a human and the force required to work against friction. So we just add these two together to get F. So then F here equals F required to move a, a woman, a, a woman, plus force of friction. And we could just plug it in to get the final, the, the total force. 86.8 plus 243.04, which totals 2329.84 newtons. Okay, now we have all of the necessary values, and we can proceed with actual calculations. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what we have. We have force here, and then the radius we will assume to be 5. Gravitational constant, I just Google it. And then uh, finally, mass 2 is just the weight of a woman. Put that into a calculator, and the final result will be 19927183375004. It's simply one trillion, uh, nine hundred million, uh, what, okay, I'm not gonna read it all, but, um, it's basically almost two trillion kg. And, yeah, it makes sense, because that, that was what, uh, that, that's around what I was guessing. 
Now, listen, I know it's intimidating to see this kind of number, but, you know, getting girls is hard work. It's going to be hard, trust me, I've been there. But as long as you are consistently taking in more calories than you burn, you'll get your own gravitational field eventually. Don't stress about it too much and just have faith in thermodynamics. That being said, good luck, man. You got this.